Hi, today I'm mending these pyjama trousers that have got a bleach stain on them so I thought it would be cool to show you how to do a darned patch but matching up the checks of the fabric. So I've got an assortment of different threads and I'm going to use those to try and colour match as much as possible. If you're new to darning but you've seen my previous videos on using the speed weave darner, this is the same method, it's just without the tools. So the first thing we need to do is create the warp threads, which are the vertical threads that will run upwards and cover the bleach stain. So I've started off with a few running stitches, then I'm creating my long thread which is my warp thread, and then I'm ending on a few more running stitches. And what I also do is make my last stitch of that first row at the same time as starting the second row, as you can see there. So it's a really small stitch there. You don't want the distance between your warp threads to be too big, otherwise you'll end up with gaps in your darn. So because I'm trying to match the check pattern of the trousers, I've colour matched as best as possible with the threads that I have and I'm going to work a few rows of the grey and then what I'll do is switch over to a darker colour. It's definitely a more time consuming way to make a patch because you've got a lot more ends that you're going to need to weave in at the end but I think it's got a really nice finish overall especially if you want something that is visible but doesn't stand out too much from the original pattern of the fabric. That's the grey finish there and now I'm switching over to a black thread to do a few rows for this smaller check. I've finished the few rows of black thread there so now I'm switching over to a white thread and then I'll go back to the black and then back to grey. And that's all of my warp threads done. So now I can start weaving in the weft threads which are the horizontal threads and I'm starting with a white which will just be for a couple of rows for that skinny check there. When I'm weaving, I've turned my needle around so that I'm using the eye of the needle to go over and under each of my alternate warp threads. This was actually quite fiddly. The threads are all really close together and obviously there's the background of the check fabric underneath as well. But using the eye of the needle definitely helped make that easier. So when I get to the end of the row, I'm tacking the thread into place and then adding one stitch either side. So I've got just a couple of running stitches on the warp threads and then one running stitch either side of the weft threads.
I'm using a really long darning needle here which is great because I can use it to push the threads down and keep everything even and it means I can get all the way through the warp threads without having to break out halfway. As you can see I'm using the needle there as well just to make sure that the threads are all lined up and straight. And then I'm going to carry on in exactly the same way. I'm only changing colours twice here so I've got white at the bottom and then grey for the rest of the weft threads. And that's the darn finished, I've just got to the top there. And I think it looks pretty good. It's not invisible, but it's got a nice effect where I've used similar colours to the check pattern. So now I need to tackle all of the tail threads. So I'm going to take the darning mushroom out and turn the fabric inside out. This is what the patch looks like from the inside and then I'm just going to take my darning needle and use the eye of the needle to pull the tail threads through like this. There are a few different ways that you can weave the ends in. Depending on the fabric and the clothing that you're mending, you might not want lots of knots on the inside of your fabric. But because these are loose pyjama bottoms, I'm not too worried about that. So what I'm going to do is split the embroidery floss in half and then just knot two or three times, not pulling too tightly because I don't want to affect the tension of the patch on the other side, but enough to keep it secure. And where I've got two different tail threads close together, I'm just knotting those together as well. If you had a piece of clothing that you didn't want knots on, you would just thread up those tail threads with your needle and weave them in and out a few of your stitches on the inside. And there we go, that's the threads all trimmed and that's what the patch looks like from the outside. I think it's a really nice way to cover up a bleach stain especially because you haven't got any holes or damaged fabric to worry about you're just covering a, a stain basically which gives you some freedom to have fun with the mend. I'd love to know what you think of this mend and whether you've tried anything similar. Thank you for watching and I will see you again for another video.